I think I might buy some wipes because you know sometimes we just need like wipes to get. So yeah, I'ma grab me one of these. Mm -hmm. Nice, they have Cerave, but I don't think I'm gonna buy Cerave. Let's see the prices, just in case I will come back for these. Look, it's oil. I think I'm gonna get that. hey guys welcome back to another one of my videos so for today's video i'm gonna be sharing a few items i bought on my like skincare body care haul i bought these things from like two different sources so that was like super drug amazon it was super drug and amazon yeah pretty much super drug and amazon i kind of went overboard of course but i mean it is what it is at this point that's just what that is but anyway yeah i'm gonna show you the first product i got which was this oh i don't know if you guys can see yes this dr burner's soap i mean dr burner's i've been using dr burner's for a while now i kind of like switched for a little i guess things changed but I'm back to using or trying out the Dr. Bruno's soap. I really like it. You can literally use it for anything. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm advertising the product right now, but you can literally use this. You can use it to wash your pets, you can use it to wash cars, you can use it to wash your clothes, you can use it to wash your hair for your body. <clears throat> so much. So much. And it's literally like on the bottle they literally tell you you can use it for many things also you get to like dilute it with water so you, you shouldn't literally use it like so concentrated you're supposed to dilute it with water so if you guys found that like you use this soap and it was very drying it was probably because you didn't dilute it you could probably dilute it like two parts soap one part water i feel that's good enough and that gives you enough stud but yeah this is like really good and it's natural it's vegan guys yeah whenever i use these like dr burner soap i always feel clean so yep this is one thing i made sure to get and i got the big big one the big bottle 945 ml which is i think about 32 ounces something like that yeah next product another cleanser which i got was this super Facialist brightening vitamin C something something something. It's a uh, cleansing oil and I decided to get it because I have like a lot of hyperpigmentation so I'm trying to like improve that and fix it. I also have like this bruise right here which yeah it ain't cute. It ain't cute. But Hopefully this will help. I think I'm not sure if it's really supposed to be used for makeup or because it does say it dissolves makeup. I don't really wear makeup, so I don't really need this necessarily. But like what caught my eye was that it says it's like a brightening soap. It's a brightening soap. Revealed radiantly clear, thoroughly cleanse skin. So yeah, I'm hoping that this will help with my hyperpigmentation. This recording definitely recording like i've bought this i think this is my third time buying this now this is just like a really good toner it doesn't really it doesn't break me out it's good it has natural ingredients as well so it has like um <clears throat> first ingredient water glycerin you got alcohol denat or denat whatever you got rosemary flower water sodium hydroxide sodium phytate etc 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 but this one is really good it it's also vegan it's also vegan it basically helps it does what it's supposed to do it's a toner it's good for dry and sensitive skin so my skin is sensitive and that's why you should have to get this this one the smell smells like roses <laughs> or what you'd expect the roses to smell like so that's nice yeah until the next one i mean and it's pretty cheap anyway it's probably like four pound max 
four pounds max yeah next okay on to the serums that i bought so these serums that i bought are basically supposed to help me with the hyperpigmentation and the acne scars this vitamin c serum is actually not the first that i've gotten this one i'm gonna show you guys my empty bottle so yeah this is this is how it looks this is my second time buying it so yeah i feel like it works it's also vegan legit natural it has natural ingredients does the job vitamin c and it should supposedly help with like acne and acne scars so yeah I really like this one. The next serum I have is this one from Eva. This is gonna be my first time actually trying this serum. So it's a niacinamide serum. It has like hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, aloe vera, and it's also like niacinamide. Niacinamide. Niacinamide is also supposed to help with like hyperpigmentation and acne scars. So I decided to get this one. I'm not sure. I think this one may also be vegan, but yeah, I'm hoping this does the job. And it's been pretty okay for my skin so far. And that's it for serums, and now for face masks. So first, I'm gonna show you guys like this. This is a uh, it's a pineapple peel that I got. Pineapple enzyme peel. It's apparently Korean inspired. Oh my gosh! And guess what? Also vegan. So this one is, yeah, it's like a peel off mask, and I guess it's supposed to help with like blackheads. It's Korean inspired. Don't know what that means, but there's no that it's inspired by Korean beauty, I guess. Yeah, I've never used a peel off mask, so I'm hoping that this will help and actually like remove some of the blackheads and uh like you know those hard little balls that come out of your face when you like blob it sometimes really gently yeah those blackheads or whatever i want those gone and also like my nose sometimes sometimes it like has the white i'm not sure what it is it may be just like dirt and sebum oils that clog your pores and your nose and your cheeks i want i hope that this will get rid of that as well or help me to get rid of that but yeah that's what i bought this revolution revolution pineapple peel off mask so this one actually i've had this for a while but i decided that i don't think it's actually helping my face that much so that's why i decided to buy raw turmeric yep it's literally bigger than my head i did not expect it to be that this big like if i knew it was this big i wouldn't have bought it <laughs> but anyways yeah i'm gonna try and like use more organic turmeric powder on my face because when i was in jamaica and using turmeric powder my, my face was just flourishing so hopefully when i start using this and incorporating it into my mask it will help me more so than more so than this one that i've been using for a few i mean i think it helped this definitely helped but i don't like if you're using it only once per week like i was you're not really gonna see that much results definitely gives you glow i would say that for sure because someone has complimented like my glow but as for like hyperpigmentation hmm, maybe it does help but yeah i don't think i would i wouldn't buy this again to be honest i also decided to buy like these i decided to buy these cleansing pads i mean as someone who's doing work and school you kind of have to freshen up sometimes so when i'm done work and then i'm like then going to school i may not have as much time to like uh wash my face or whatever I may want to like just quickly wipe my face and that's it. Instead of using these, I'm just gonna use these in the night, which seems like the better option. And then I'm going to use the facial wipes that I bought in drugs in the well, drugstore long in super drug. That's where I bought it from. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. So yeah, instead of using those wipes, I'm gonna use those cleansing pads in the night and then like so for example i'm at school or going from work to school i just need to freshen up a little bit i'll use this these cleansing wipes or maybe wash my face quickly and use a cleansing wipe like this and 
yeah that's about it i'm ready to go but it should be okay anyway it's like it's not good to get all right next what else okay so i also bought this this one it does really make your skin feel soft especially when you use this body oil and then like you layer it layer um some lotion on top yeah this is this good and it smells really nice so when you have like the lotion the vaseline lotion to this one the cocoa bottle or cocoa radiant vaseline lotion and you have this body oil as well Yeah, you smell really nice. So yeah, this this oil is really nice. I just started it to be honest, and kind of because I saw like all these um self care girlies using this oil, so I was like, oh, looks nice, and it does smell nice. It feels nice as well. What else do I have? So if you also want um to smell good and feel soft and nice, there's this dove body scrub that i bought which is really nice i've actually used this one before and this is my second time buying it when i went to the store last time they <clears throat> oh yeah they, they had another one i think it, i don't remember i think it was pomegranate but it just didn't smell as good as this it, it, it was more like a piercing scent maybe i think still good but it wasn't like this which is more subtle kind of like it just smells nicer Trust me, it smells good. It smells like something you would put on when like you're on a vacation or whatever. It just smells really nice. It's good vibes. Yeah, that's the one. And it's really cheap, anyways. This dub exfoliating scrub. This one is not vegan, of course, but I still use it. For now until maybe i find something which is vegan but yeah this is a dove body scrub and it's like really cheap i think it was around three pounds or four max maybe in super junk so yeah this is really nice yeah i didn't explain much of this one so this one this is a cleansing pad it does say nighttime cleansing pads it has like glyc it has glycolic acid in it and i'm hoping that the glycolic acid will help with like hyperpigmentation and my dark acne scars they do say that um i think they say darker skinned people are much better off using like lac lactic acid or mandelic acid one of those two but i think dermatologists have also said that there's a way darker skinned people have so many issues using this glycolic acid because they use it too often so i'm gonna just use this probably like once a month sorry not once a month <laughs> once a week and see what happens i don't want to like use it too much and then have some adverse effects and it's only five percent anyway so it's not that much oh this is also vegan the bought the like I this is a large one so it's XXL so I'll get like a hundred pads in this one. Well yeah, I can't wait to use some of these night pads like this especially hopefully when I have some of those lazy days this will come and be by my side because we all have those days where we don't feel like we don't feel like doing much. Shouldn't happen often. Let's try to keep it from happening often, but when these are like by my bedside, I just have to like take one, wipe, and that's it. I go to sleep. Because the most important thing for me is to like cleanse my face and make sure my face is clean before I go to bed. That's legit. Yeah. And this one, it does say that you're supposed to use it twice a day, but I wouldn't do that. Personally, no my skin is sensitive so that already means that this is i mean i used it once and i saw that my skin was stripping already so yeah i don't even need to use much of this you know what i'm saying i don't need to use much when it was stripping I, right here i don't know if you guys can still see but yeah i saw stripping and that's that's like enough but anyways think that's enough for it to hold on maybe I have one more thing
<laughs> so other than like this facial brush that I got, I've also I've had one before, but I guess I had it like too long now, maybe like over three months, and you're supposed to change it I think every two or three months. So yeah, I have a new one, and I also got, and I also got like this little travel kit. So basically, this is not really for like airplane travel, but it basically is. It's basically supposed to like help me with um, going to and from school and work. Basically, so now I have like these smaller containers I can put soap in or lotion or lip balms, whatever. It's just more portable, more easy to carry around. And that's why I have it. That's why I bought it. It wasn't too much money. I got. I think it was probably less than five pounds. Shouldn't be too much. It really shouldn't be too much if you're traveling it should also be helpful but yeah that's my video for today guys i hope you guys enjoyed it those are the products i bought as i said before i think i did i think i kind of went overboard but because this is this is just the skincare and body care haul like i may have a hair care haul coming soon because i also bought stuff from my hair but one of the reasons why i bought so many things is that i was waiting until i got paid to actually spend money so trust and believe that yeah I needed to restock on some things but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one so do things <laughs>